arriving direct from the new planet Earth. But pandemics are plenty. But the girls are still pretty in fashionable dresses. You know what I'm talking about. But ignorance is bliss. You ain't got to give a damn about no cold. Uh oh. Tell me who unleashed our animal instinct. Why the op standing that tickle pink? Have a drink. He's walking the mock liquor. Shot of poison. One thicker. Somebody got some explaining to do. And the classic man is a danger to you. And me too. Tatting on my forehead. Go home. Go to bed. I dress. Something we can just wake up. When the family unit is overrun. When the structure is undone. Welcome back to the Franchise Podcast, Super Bowl coverage from Radio Row. Super Bowl 58 in our hood right here in Las Vegas. You know us, Squeeze, Joe, and we got a special guest, the homie. Known Keith for a while, Keyshawn Nixon, all pro, two-time all pro. Yeah, yeah. Two times. times. How would that feel? Uh, I feel good. I feel good. Uh, It's good to have an accolade attached to your name, but doing it twice is even better. Yeah. That means it, it, there's substance to it. Yeah, you yeah, done yeah. once, now you repeat. Yeah, it, it means it wasn't a fluke. For real. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so back to back. Yeah. How did you like Green Bay, man? How do you like it? Man, I like it a lot, man. Uh, it's actually a blessing. I think uh, Green Bay allowed me to slow down as a person and uh, really get my life right. I think Green Bay helped me more off the field than it did on the field. I think me getting my life right off the field allowed me to just play, for real, just get my, get my football play right. My football play right, honestly. So you know he's a Niner fan. Yeah. He had a lot to say. He had a lot to say about it. Sure he did. <laughs> now look, man, y'all had a y'all, that was a damn good game. Y'all really came on the second half of the season. Um, seemed like y'all hit a spark somewhere. What happened? Yeah, man. Uh, I can't cuss right. I can cuss. You can cuss all right. Say whatever shit. you want. All right. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, we just yelled together. Yeah. Uh, one day we kick all the coaches out. And uh, we, just oh, yeah. said, we just said, like, man, this shit got to be on us. And that's what we did. We put it on us. I mean, we won five straight, yeah. six straight. Sure yeah. did. That Detroit game on Thanksgiving would seem like it was a turning point. Was that, was that, that was a spark right there. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think the first play of the game really, like, upward our season, that, that play to nine yeah. to Christian Watson, I think that, that, that deep ball changed our season right there. Yeah, like, so – Y'all's a young team, man. All y'all skill yeah. positions, just a bunch of youth. So yeah. everybody thought that NFC North, it was over for Green Bay for a minute. Yeah. All of a sudden, y'all retooled right quick, and it looked like y'all going to be problems for people going forward. I think they forgot that G's still on the helmet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them this. again. I hate this damn interview yeah. right here, man. Tell them again. Yeah. I, don't think, I don't think the G going nowhere, man. <laughs> Believe that. Believe and that. So the, in that 49er game, I was uh, at the Bishop Gorman banquet, okay. and I was sitting by Roy Otis. Okay. And we're watching. Now, literally, there's a tables and there's a helmets, and everybody got their phones with the game on. And, and we're watching the kick return, and I'm sitting there like, oh. Then the fumble happened, and Roy was like, I saw, I, he said, God damn, Key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah. so like, you know, you you are, you led the league, I think the last two years in kick return yardage. We've yeah. taken about, is that, and, but this year it seemed like you didn't take it out as much. Was that by design? Uh, nobody tried to kick me the ball. Um, they learn. Yeah, so it's, it's hard <laughs> when you get, when you get an accolade like an all pro, that means you're the best at what you do. Right. And uh, they were trying to give me the ball, so every op I had, I had to try to make advantage of it. I take advantage of it, and uh, I earned back to back. So I, I can only imagine next year I might not be yeah. <laughs> You're going to be back yeah, there I'm watching not, TV, yeah. bro. Yeah, All right, tell me a little bit about your quarterback. Cause this dude been pom pom and pom pom and for years. I felt like Green Bay was stupid to have the best quarterback that I, I feel in, in history when it just comes down to throwing the yeah. ball, and then to not give him help and get a quarterback that now we see – he was right. Looks like the quarterback of the of the, of the future. Uh, honestly, I, I think it'll be like even my career. Um, uh, my first three years, I feel like was just developmental. Right. Um, I just had time to get coached and uh, really grow. Yeah. And uh, I think the same thing with Jordan. He was he he was given three years to learn mannerism of A. Rod and twelve mm-hmm. and see how he approached the game. Mm-hmm. And twelve was never shy of helping him. Really. No, nah, twelve a great dude, man. I love twelve to death. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, I really just think Jordan Love just 
took the coaching. Mm. He uh, he took the the relationship he had with with, with twelve and uh. Man, he gonna, he'll be a hell of a player for a long he time. He is, man. he is, man. Look, man, I, I, I really want to thank him from the bottom of my heart for that last pass <laughs> in that game. No, nah, man, was, you know, I it's crazy. It. <laughs> it's crazy. Because when they score, man, I go back to the kick return. I'm hyped. I'm thinking, like, ain't no way they're going to keep me the ball again. Yeah. I'm back there. It just started pouring raining. Yeah. Oh, shit. So I'm yeah. like, ain't no way we can get this last drive and the rain finally start hitting again. Damn. So I'm like, yeah, it might get a little ugly. Yeah. Me. It's a hell of a game, man. It's, it's a, uh, it's been a rivalry since we was young. Yeah. And uh, I think it's probably back. I'm sure, I'm sure it's some. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's some, some y'all ready for revenge If I that. go to Green Bay next year, they got to come to Green Bay and see us <laughs> during <laughs> the season. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know so, as well as anybody, iron sharpens iron. And yeah. you got, in my opinion, the best DB in the game with Jair, Jair working yeah, with you. And. And then, you know, you have a young room besides you two. You guys are, are the Grizzle veterans in that room. And then you got the youngest receiving core in the game, too. Yeah. What have you guys done in practice to get them better? And compete. Uh, I told Lil' Jay Reed when he first got drafted, uh, I'm like, we're going to see each other every day in practice. The only way I can get better is if you get me better. And mm -hmm. I'm going to get you better because I got to get better. So, uh, man, we just attacked training camp. Yeah. Man, I want to go back to a story that nobody knows, not too many people know. Last year, your first year there, against the uh, New Orleans practice, Chauncey Gardner Johnson was popping off at the mouth. Yeah. And I think it was you guys are having those, those things. After you said so to him, Chauncey Gardner Johnson, shut the hell up. <laughs> like, how do you have that? I don't. I don't. How do you have that effect on people with your teammates, man? I don't know. I just. I don't really say much, but if somebody get me active, I'm gonna get active. I ain't really tripping on it. I don't care who it is. It ain't gotta be him. It could be anybody. I ain't. Yeah. I ain't really stunting nobody, especially not in football. We're yeah. here to play football. All that rah rah, I don't even matter. Right, my man. You gotta show me. I, Isaiah Pacheco learned too this year. Too. Yeah, he had to see me too. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> man, I brother, you know, th this is family, man. I've known you uh, since you was in the junior college level. Junior college, yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Eight, Trained with years. Peanut. Yeah, eight nine years. Yeah, and man, I, I appreciate you. We just seen you walking. I seen you. I just stopped and see my boy. I'm not gonna ask the heart any questions because you never met Happily yet, you know, so you don't know him. And yeah. free agency coming up. I want you to stay. I think everybody in Green Bay wants you to stay. I think you want to stay. We'll see what happens. There we go, man. So we'll see I know we need something on the other side up in that bay. My high school teammate man. there now. Come yeah, on, like man. D, D's there. Come That's on, true. man. Yeah, man. I, you know, I want, I want Deion to win the Super Bowl, man. I yeah. really do. Yeah, I for love sure. Him to death. For sure. But That's I the hope only Kansas reason. City do it to him. Nah, come on, man. Come on. All right, that's enough. That's I enough. Hope, I love this. it. I hope <laughs> Kansas City do it to him. Oh, right, tell him that. Keyshawn Nixon, two-time All-Pro. Yeah. Kick returner, cornerback. Just the all-around dude. Yeah. Member of the franchise family, man. Appreciate you joining us, brother. Proud of you, bro. Appreciate it. Thank Real you. Real talk. Guys. We'll be back with more Super Bowl coverage on the Franchise Podcast and Franchise Sports Media. Follow us on all the social media networks and uh, subscribe to the YouTube page.